generation of search and rescue dogs are being trained in Pierce County. Yeah, we got a chance to see that training for ourselves. Fox 13 photojournalist Taylor Murray gives us a closer look. Fawcett Elementary is a mothballed school in Tacoma. We've had the opportunity to come here. The fire department is also training here. Today I have Parker. Parker is in training as a live find disaster search dog. <laughs> search. We set up training problems to try to mimic a situation that we might find in a real disaster. So we, you know, hide a subject in kind of an inaccessible location because that's when the dogs are going to be utilized. After an earthquake or a hurricane, buildings look like there's a lot of stuff they need to kind of climb over, climb through, get in. Our dogs have a bark alert, so when they find a person, they stay and they bark. This is what they work for, like the big paycheck in the end for them, getting their toy, getting some play. For them, it's just a big fun game. Search. Most people look at a building like this and they, you know, think, oh, that's just, you know, we're going to tear it down and we're going to move on. But opportunities like this really do help us create stronger search dogs that will be more effective in a disaster. Good girl, nice work. Since we're disaster focused search dog team, we, we don't get called out very often, which is a good thing. Some of the dogs on the, the team are also human remains detection dogs, and so they do get called out to help with fires and things like that. <laughs> We joke sometimes that search dog handlers get a little excited about weird things like mothball buildings. <laughs> but we do because we just can't recreate this in any other environment. Good job, buddy. What a good boy.